Eric Schaber, DO, coming to you with another medical update. This morning, I read an article on the MedPage Today newsletter from Christopher McGowan, MD. Dr. McGowan is a practicing obesity medicine specialist. In this article, he was acknowledging the efficacy of GLP-1 medications, but expressed concern that at the end of the day, they aren't a good way to address obesity in patients. The reason for his concern is one that I have seen as well in my clinical practice in the past, and that is adherence to the medications long-term. All of our data shows that if patients do not remain on these medicines after initiating them, they tend to regain most, if not all of the weight that they lose. This is very much true of GLP-1s, and we are seeing in the real world 75% of patients who start these medicines discontinue them within two years of starting, very frequently within the span of several months. The reasons for this vary, and they can be side effects, cost, and most frequently just because patients do not want to remain on weight loss medications indefinitely. As far as what we need to do about this, there are some pharmaceutical companies that are trying to solve this problem by introducing oral pills for GLP-1s that have shown in trials like the Surmount 5 trial that they can maintain weight lost initially on their more potent injectable cousins. The problem with this is it still doesn't get around the fact that people just don't want to take weight loss medications forever. I think long term our solutions have to be better weight loss interventions through lifestyle, whether it's through more rigorous prescription of exercise and diet, or finding ways to interact with people where they are to help them eat better. In any case, I think different solutions will need to be found long-term for us not to look up back on this era and see it as just another failed attempt to address obesity in the United States. Hope this is informative, and thank you so much.